Right. Good evening, all of you. So, in the today in today's session, we will see how to count only the upper case characters in the given string. Again, generally, a string contains both upper and lower case characters. But what I want now, I want count only upper case characters only. Okay. Right. Let us see that one. Right, so, so third one is write, write a program to program to count to count all uppercase characters, uppercase characters in the given string, uppercase characters, right? For example, let's take a string. N A R A Y A N A, for example, right? So in this string, total, how many uppercase characters are there? That is what I want to count. So what to do? First, to take the one count variable to zero. We take the one count variable to zero initially. Now, from the string, we read one by one. From the string, from beginning onwards till the last one, till the last one. We read one by one. We read the one by one character. One by one character. So if any character is in uppercase at that time, I increase the count value. Okay, from beginning to ending, uh, out of all characters, if any character is uppercase, if it is uppercase, we increase the count value. If it is lowercase uh, or if it is space uh, or comma or anything else, we don't increase the count value. Okay, right. Let us try now. Let us try. So first of all, I am going to read the data from user. So enter any string like this. Any string. Let's take one variable, st variable. Just imagine he is giving a like this. Okay, all of you. Right. I just take here combination of upper lowercase characters. Now we'll count. We'll take the one count value zero. We'll take the one count value zero, right? Now, from the given string, from the given string, we'll fetch one by one character. And each character, we have to check whether it is upper or not. How to get one by one? By using for loop. By using for loop. For i in st, now what's first time i value? First time i value n, n is coming. Right. If that I, that I means that getting character is upper, if it is upper, if it is upper, then what I want now, I want to increase the count value. So count alert zero is there, increment by one, assigned to same count variable, assigned to count variable. Now, initially count value, how much? Zero, right? Zero, zero. Now it will be one, guys, because because zero plus one, right? Already count zero is there, right? Zero is there. Zero plus one. How much now count value? It became it became one. Now currently the count value one, right? Now the for loop over. The for loop over means uh, the first iteration over, right? Now next time I value. What next time I value small j, right? Next time I value, next character, small a is coming up. What is I value now? I value is a small a. Now a is a uppercase. True or false? Uh, true or false? It's false. False means uh, whenever if is false, at that time, uh, the if block will not execute. Uh, means uh, the count will not, will not increase. Uh, because uh, it is simple if. Means uh, if condition is true, then only it executes. Uh, otherwise, means if condition is false, uh, going for the next iteration, going for the next iteration. So what is next value now? Next value is how much? R, right? R is coming, capital R. One by one coming, right? Capital R. Now what's I value? I value is capital R. Now R is upper. R is upper. True or false? It is true. If it is true, then count to plus one. All the how much count value? One is there. Now, now all the count value one, 
plus one, how much now count value is two? Currently, the count value is two. Okay, again, now, all statements in the for loop over, right? Execution over. Next one, now. what next i value here? Next i value is a. A is coming. What's the i value? Small a, means lowercase a. So a is upper, true or false? False. If condition is false, if condition is false, what does it do? It's going for the next iteration. Take the next value. Okay, what next value now? Next value of a. Y, right? Y is coming here, capital Y. So I value is capital Y. Now, if Y is upper, true or false, it is true. Then uh, start the block, count to plus one. What's count will already two is there. Now, two plus one, it takes a uh, two plus one. How much now? Three. So finally, the count value is three right now. Again, uh, the block is over. Next, uh, next I value A. Right next a value a is coming up. Right. So now a dot is upper. True or false? It's false. Means uh, the block will not execute. Uh, means count will not increase the uh. next iteration. Next i value n capital n. True or false? It is true. Then uh, execute the block. Increase the count value. Already count value three. So three plus one now four. Right. Uh, the already value, how much now? Three is there. So three plus one, how much now? Three plus one, okay. So three plus one now. So count value became four. Now the count value four, right? Count value four. Ah, now the for loop over, uh, iteration over. Next i value is a. A, okay. Now a is upper, true or false? False. False means uh, the block will not execute. Next i value. Next i value is not there, right? Not there. So it means uh, now all iterations over, all iterations over. After all for uh, all it, uh, after entire for loop over, I'm going to print a count value. What's current count value? It's one of four. Now the result is four. It displays a. Uh, it displays four. Right. So enter any string, let's take the same string like this. Now the result is four, result is four guys. Okay, a lot of guys. Now, now this object here, we'll take the, the table debugging here. So first we'll take the i, i value, then count if uh, true or false, then uh, increment the count plus one, assign to what here again, uh, assign to count only. Assign to count only here. Uh, what's first i value? First uh, n. At that time, what's first uh, count value zero? Now capital n, right? I use the capital n. So true or false? Uh, if is that true? If is that true? Count value zero already. Zero already. Then uh, increment by one. Uh, then how much count value? Count value is one. Count became one. So it is no over. Next time I value, which one small here, right? Now it's current count value, current count value is one now. Now small a is coming, uh, so is upper is false. It is the false. If it's false, no count increasing, uh, same count will be there, means same one will be there. Next uh, R, what's count value currently still uh, same one, right? One is there. Okay, one is there. Huh. Capital R, right? So if is that true, if it is true, now, already count value one is there. Already count value one plus increment by one. Increment by one. Now, how much here? It is the two. Next, uh, next iteration, I value A. Count how much now? Count value two, current two. Now, small a is coming, right? So, if is false, if it is false, count will not increase. The uh, same count will be there. Next, uh, capital Y. But current count, uh, current count is two. Then, so capital Y, right? So true, if it is true, then if it is true, increase the counter. Already the count value two plus increment by one, then how much here? Two plus one, count value currently three, right? Next to small a, so current count value three, count, count value three, then small a means a true or false if it is false. False means a count not increasing, same count will be there. Next, capital N coming, what's current count value three? 
then it is true or false uh, kathleen right it is the true true means uh, so 3 plus uh, 3 plus 1 right when our is upper case character the count is increasing that's all four next uh, small a is coming this one true or false uh, uh, what's current count value four right true or false uh, it is the false it is the false so false means uh, count is not increasing right count is not increasing now all of you observe here next uh, no other character a is the last one right a is the last one uh, no other character right now see the count values guys see the count values initially count value zero after all characters uh, counting over then now uh, finally what's count value here what's count value here count value is four right the count value is four guys so that's why result uh, is four okay we get any length of character any length of character with n number of words uh, length of string uh, n number of words uh, okay it will uh, uh, count only upper case characters only okay right so yes thank you so much all of you guys we'll meet uh, in the next session with new example